Bahrain is the second circuit after Malaysia to be designed by Bernie Eccleston's track architect in chief, Herman Tilke. The black circuit languishes in the middle of the sand under the pounding desert sun. After the off, the fan starts straight away at the first corner, a tricky one to get right especially at the exit. This decides which car is best positioned in the long straight and who reaches top speed the fastest. The drivers take it up to 300 on the clock here, still topping speeds of 110 at the fourth corner. Fine desert sand plays havoc with tyre grip, but better by far than greens in the gearbox. But no worry, the mechanics use filters to cope with the sand problem. Total concentration then as the drivers move onto the infield and a double corner with difficult vision. Drivers have to brake, corner and monitor the rest of the field or they can quickly drop back several places. A lot of fast sections require maximum downforce so as not to comprise safety and cornering grip. Full speed along the back straight braking at the last moment before corner 11, then back on the gas as quickly as possible. Total adrenaline rush. And if things go wrong, generous run-out zones mean only pressure seconds are lost and nothing worse. Modern planning has significantly improved the safety of today's racetracks. But then, full speed down the hill, sharp right into the start-finish straight, the longest hill speed section of the track. The end of the straight affords the best chance of overtaking. So eyes peeled as the muscle cars force their way 57 times through the eye of the needle on Sunday.